Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2 The Sith Lords with me Darth Marswack Last time we got off Barandas and escaped this, and we escaped Spike Tyndall and the Sith and Paragus got destroyed Now we're just having a conversation with Kray and Atten about our next course of action But last of the Jedi? That can't be true the Jedi's civil war destroyed the Jedi. By the war's end, barely a hundred Jedi remained. Many fell in battle, and many more were seduced by Revan's teachings. What about the Jedi on Dantooine and Carson? The Jedi Academy on Dantooine is nothing more than a crater that echoes with the ghosts of dead Jedi. And the Jedi Temple on Coruscant lies empty. The waters in the womb of a thousand fountains have fallen still. In reverence to the fallen Jedi and those found lost. Many Jedi blamed the teachings of the Jedi Masters for Revan's fall and the civil war that followed. If any survivors still live, we need to warn them. Perhaps, but they are Jedi no longer. If the Sith have not already slain them, then they will not help you, nor can you help them. And how do we stop the Sith? That is not an easy question to answer. This threat is greater than you know, and I do not believe it is a battle that can be fought. If we don't stop them, they're going to keep coming. Look, enough with the we already. We cannot hope to triumph against them alone. To stop them, we will need weapons, allies, and a teacher. In the end, I fear it may not be enough. What do you mean? You fought in the Mandalorian Wars, but it cost you everything. Are you willing to sacrifice as much again? Is there some place we can hide or run to? That's the first smart thing I've heard since you two started talking. For a time, yes. Tulas may be such a place. All our paths seem to lead us there. Perhaps there, if you are willing, I can train you, help you to survive a while longer. Perhaps with the right training, I can fight this breath. Or. And we let them come. And we let them come to us, set a trap for them. You are not listening to me. This is not like any field of battle you have ever fought in. Think carefully on your choice. If you choose to fight, if you choose war, it is a path few turn from once the first steps are taken. It carries with it a terrible price, and in the end you may find you have nothing left to sacrifice. Turned away from war once, I can do it again. Ah, like so many Jedi, you hear, but you do not listen. You have much to learn. But we have spoken long enough, and my wound pains me. If you have other questions, find me in the crew quarters. There we will speak more. Hey, don't stop your long, boring rants on my account. I was just getting sleepy eyed. Also, in private, we will be mercifully free from the opinions of imbeciles and fools. Look, uh, not like I care or anything, but you might want to go check on our passenger, especially with that hand of hers. She sounded, she seemed well, though, somewhere who just lost her hand. I think she was barely keeping it together. I'm surprised she's able to stand with all that pain rolling off of her. What are you talking about? Are you blind? If I were her, I'd be screaming like a stuck minor. Well, I mean a very strong, manly, my not. Hmm. I think she's just too proud to show any weakness. Especially in front of you. That's odd. In case you hadn't noticed, she won't say two words to me, but she'll talk your ear off any chance she gets. Well, what you think matters to her, a lot. She wants you to respect her. Besides, we haven't got much else to do until Telos. When did you guys send it to? Oh, don't give it. 
experience of being around people enough to read them. She tried at some point. You're right, she may be in pain of still tracking to get an album. I remember an HK unit but older and more corrosive than the one you encountered on Barabas. Power core still carries a charm. A number of critical parts appear to be missing. Pair. Diagnosed with droid. Looks as if this droid is missing four critical components. Its droid processor, a replacement droid chassis, control cluster that's supposed to be stored in the chassis, and its vocabulator. Repair. Take the vocabulary to insert and insert it into the core. Success you've destroyed the joint vocabulator. Step away. Right, D3. There he is. Hey, B. You look like you've suffered a lot of damage over the years. How much damage? So you lost a lot of programs in your behaviour core, in addition to the damage you've built to your frame. Well, I'm sure you'll gain that skill back. I'm glad to have you along. Yeah, I might be able to upgrade your memory core. Alright, let me take a look. Whoops, must have crossed the circuit. We'll try again there. Now, look like you need some routine maintenance. Just take a little bit longer. Oh no. Whoopsie daisy. Try to get the train here. That's the only thing that improves repair and computer. Then later, right now, we'll let's talk to Kraya. When you count for more answers, there is little more left to give. When you lost your hand, I felt it too. That does not surprise me, any more than you hearing my thoughts when we were apart. The pain, however, was unexpected. If I could, I would have shielded you from it. If I could, I would have protected you. Save your pity. I am here to save you, not the other way around. If we travel together, then we need to work together. I do not need your condescension, no more lectures. If anyone needs training and guidance, it is you. Pain I felt, the pain I felt when you lost your hand, what if it had been more intense? I do not know. I fear that. The consequences would have been more extreme. More extreme? I feel like my hand is different. Would it have been lethal? Possibly, yes, and I fear it works both ways. I would not wish to test it, nor should you. What can we do? Don't want my actions to place you at risk. When battle is upon us, I suspect our minds are prepared enough to shield each other from the pain. I think we shall not have a repeat incident of what happened at Paragua. How could this bond have happened? I confess its nature eludes me as well, but the bond is strong and its roots run deep. It seems the force flows easily between us. When one
one of us manipulates the force to heal or strengthen ourselves, the other is aided as well. You and Crab possess the force change battle ability. When either of you use the force power on yourself, the other gains the benefit as well. A powerful technique indeed, though, as we have noticed, it has its drawbacks. So what do we do now? I do not know. The Sith struck more swiftly than I thought, and they will not stop until they have you in their grasp. If you fall, all the galaxy will echo it. But there must be some place we can go. It does not matter where we go. It is not the destination that matters. It is the journey. All paths will take us to the end, whatever it may be, and no matter how strongly we fight against it. For now, we are bound for Tinos, and that is enough. Enough for what? Before the war, Jedi who failed their training were sent to the fields of Tinos to serve the galaxy not as Jedi Knights but as farmers and laborers. The destruction of Tinos was complete. I doubt any Jedi remain. Yet there may be echoes of their passing. We shall see. If we find no trace of the Jedi teachings on Tinos to help us... Then I am left with nothing more than we had already. My faith in you and your ability to meet what comes. There are other questions I wish to ask. Ask, and I will answer. I need to know more about the Sith hunters. These Sith, they seek the death of all Jedi, as have all the Sith, since the Jedi Order was first split. They're split? Yes. The Jedi Civil War is not the first one of its kind. Thousands of years ago, the Jedi had another Civil War that split the Order. It was a terrible thing. A faction among the Jedi abandoned the teachings of the Order, following their own path. They waged war on their fellow Jedi, a war that raged across the galaxy. But these fallen Jedi were cast out, defeated, and they retreated to worlds in the Outer Rim. Over time, they took on the mantle of the Lords of the Sith. But in their hearts, they never forgot the Jedi. Their hatred for the Jedi Order burns in their veins like fire and echoes in their teachings. Revan tasted it as Malak did. So we said continue the crusade. In a manner of speaking, they are different from Malak in that they are concerned only with the destruction of the Jedi. For them, it is all that matters, all that ever mattered. It is a different war these Sith wage, a thing of silence and shadow. They strike from the darkness, hiding from the face of the galaxy until all Jedi are exterminated. After all the Jedi are gone, then the galaxy is theirs. No matter whether the Sith or the Republic rules, it is the dark side that shall reign, unchecked. I've never seen Sith assassins like her from Harbinger. I believe them to be the result of special teachings. Their apparent weakness against you is evidence of this. Those Sith assassins can sense their prey through the Force. It is like hunger. They feed and grow stronger when they are mere force sensitives. The stronger their prey is in the force, the deadlier they become. As long as you were cut off from it, you were able to evade their sight. But after Caracas, I fear that you will be no longer shielded from their eyes or the eyes of their masters. The stronger you grow, the more will come. There are other questions I wish to ask. Ask, and I will answer. Next time. Thanks for watching and may the force be with you always.